It's a play that gets launched by these two women, you know, in their early 40s who have taken really different paths and they both start looking at each other uh, with a lot of envy. And there is an attempt made to swap lives. They try to see if they can, um, if one can, can find a career path after having abandoned that idea and the other one, you know, if she can find love and family after, you know, having thought that was not for her. It's a play about relationships and how some of these things that all seem fine in theory play out in real life among actual people rather than just on a page. It deals with a lot of issues that are kind of heady, but it's also really fun and it's kind of raunchy actually. The play says feminism a lot and it says porn, but it, it's not really a play about feminism and porn. What drives the play is this need for like physical and emotional intimacy and how people find that after they've lost it. The play discusses feminism a lot, but I think it is about, as kind of all my plays tend to be about, you know, why people uh, love each other and why people can't love each other. And Peter is very, very good and very fearless at kind of delving into the icky muck of motivation. He knows Gina like the back of his hand. They've yeah. worked together since grad school where I first met them. And he's done this play before, but he's so interested in what we're bringing to it, how we're, this production is different. It feels like he's still discovering a lot of new oh, things about true. the play all the time. I mean, it's not just the topics that it covers, but the relationships are so rich. And there are multi-generational um, issues and perspectives that get looked at and discussed with a, well, in the best one of the best things, with a great deal of humor. Gina's writing is funny because it's real. I think that's one of the best things about the play. It's just her writing style. She writes with a good clip that will make the play fly for the audience. As with all well-written plays, um, it has more questions than answers. And so I think it will create a lot of good discussion um, for the ride home after the theater. It's exactly the kind of thing you want to do if you're a thinking actor. You, know, you want to really delve into these kind of political, social issues that also happen to be really amusing and clever. I had someone send me an email saying, I'm thinking of bringing some people, but this seems like a very female play and I don't think the men will enjoy it. And I sent her back an email, I said, you are so wrong. I said, because it's about male-female relationships, and it's about mothers and daughters, and it's about friends, and it's about husbands and wives, and so I think it'll be interesting to anyone and everyone. It's a play for thinking people, but it's not exclusively a play for thinking people, you know what I mean? If somebody just wants to go out and have a good time and like watch some people make out and uh, you know laugh a little bit, I think that they'll enjoy it. I'm just like, it's smart ladies talking about shit. So cut out the shit, because my mom would be really mad if um, I said this swear on a video.